think, uh, you know, this is a security organization. Uh, I want to believe that uh, uh, I can listen to you and uh, tell you one or two things about this program. It's all about bringing out the boys. We don't call them area boys, we don't call them bad boys. We call them greater boys and girls. So we're trying to bring them out from the street so that they will be able to live the wayward life, vagabond lifestyle. They have been living so they will come home, come back home. So that is the help of Coca Cola. I've been trying to do in Southwest Nigeria. Roundabout, Lagos State, Nigeria. We are organizing a program under the Office of the Inspector General of Police, Department of Coca Cola, at Port Akoja. We are trying to educate our youth against crime, to take them off the street and to empower them. That's the reason why we are here today. We are calling all good Nigerians to join us.
Toronto, from Africa at large, International Human Rights Observation. Once again, you're welcome. Let's also recognize in our midst Princess Balasha De Fadipe, Director of Education and Head of Protocol. Please do I have to get her for this beautiful and adorable day. We can do better. No. 
Can we clap our hands together for Nigeria? Our beloved country. And if you love Nigeria, put your hands together for Nigeria. Oh, when, when mommy finished that national anthem, ambassador, I almost want to put my hand on my afternoon. We are grateful to you for great and mighty things you are doing in our lives, in our homes, and particularly in Nigeria, our land. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our gathering this afternoon. We know we can do nothing without you. Lord, we ask that you lead us and we shall follow. Father, we pray that from the beginning to the ending of this program, you will take absolute control. Father, we trust that everything we are going to do in this location today, we bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you again for our na nation, Nigeria. We trust that the tomorrow of Nigeria will be better. Your, the lost glory of this nation shall be restored. Our children shall be on top. It shall be well with them. In the name of Jesus. At the end of this program, my Father, we promise to return glory unto you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. God bless you in Jesus' name. One of the finest address you listen to this day and today is going on record in our limo show. Please your hands together once again. Good afternoon, Nigeria. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, the representative of the Inspector General of Police, I greet you from all the way from the Fossil Quota area. The Commissioner of Police, Mike represented by the Mike a Area Commander, Area M Police Command, Police Look at the mic. Um, the Royal Father on board with us today. The law enforcement operatives here with us today. Our spiritual father, Pastor Kalenjaye, my personal father. All the foundations on ground with us today. And thank you all. Straight to the point. My name is Ambassador Samuel and your son, your public servant. Today, we are here to educate our children. This is a police program. It's not a political parties uh, forum. It's a police program. And I want to congratulate Animo Show jurisdictions, the entire Animo Show. I thank you very much and I congratulate you. This is the first time in this office soil to have the powerful people in the law enforcement agencies to gather here today to come and talk to our children against crime. I want to thank our national uh, coordinator, Pukakov, who came all the way from Abuja. She's on her way now to this venue. And uh, at the same time, thank our Inspector General of Police, Kayo Diebetukun. He's my mentor. He's a father to me as well for giving us this opportunity to take this thing to the grassroots level, to talk to the children, to take them out of the streets and under the bridge. It's not a small task, it's a very big task, and it's a collective task to all good Nigerians. And that's why we are begging all good Nigerians to get to this vision of the Inspector General Police. Animal Shop, we see Animal Shop as the biggest or the largest local government in Nigeria. And that is the reason why we take this thing to this particular place today. And um, in Sherry Olofin, I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much for accommodating us. Thank you so much. I recognize all of you as well. Please, today is going to be a very loaded day to pass message across our children who are misconduct themselves in public. 
killing themselves because of money. Rich have taken over the land. Killing become nothing to anybody again. It's not poverty. And uh, we have to quickly arrest this situation before it becomes another thing. The next three years, we don't arrest it now. There's nothing like Nigeria. And that's why we are crying to our children to stop crime. And the landlords, too, don't accommodate criminals in your house. The law enforcement are watching. All landlords, please, oppression, know your neighbor, know your DPO, know your area commander, and know your commission of police. They have opened up for you any day, any time. Knock on their door. There's no DPO that will go to any division today, you will see their number written on the wall. We are begging all landlords, don't hide criminal, don't hate criminal in your house. Talk to them. We want to empower the youth. It's going to be the first time in the history of Nigeria for Nigeria police to come out openly that I want to empower these children. Using fire brigade approach cannot help. Let go civil with them. Let beg them. Let apologize to them that we are wrong. Arresting them, charge them to court, cannot stop crime. Let's look for something tangible to give to these children. Nigeria police force is ready to empower you people. It's funny to you people, it may be funny, but it's real. Before police can come out, call out the entire venue like this that I want to empower my children. They mean business. Empowerment can be the only solution to stop crime in this country today because According to the police, I have a jack everywhere. Let me be sincere to you. No job again. But any child that is ready to repent, to quit crime, I'm telling you authoritatively, okay? This is the voice of Nigeria, and this is the voice of Nigeria police force that I'm representing. I am the chairman of Southwest Kovac Zone. Kovac Zone. And I'm telling you today, Pokako in the office of the Inspector General of Police is ready. We have a um, roadmap to empower the repentant children among the good boys on the streets. So we are begging the children. Today's event is for the children and for the widows who is carrying the load of two persons. We want to assist you people. Come out to have your registration form. The form is free. It's not for sale. We have form here for our children. And at the same time, Pokacom form is free. If anybody asks you money online, they are scammer. We are giving form out free. The online form for Pokacom is free. Don't be deceived by anybody. Then the EKP police empowerment form is free. It's not for sale. We have the hard copy here today. I want to be brief and I want to thank our royal father for coming all the way from different homes. We love you, Daddy, and we are still coming to pay you homage, to appreciate you for this wonderful uh, outing today. We love you, Daddy. Our royal father, our Daddy, spiritual father, that my Daddy, Pastor Kali, Daddy, we love you. We are still coming. We are still coming. Uh, uh, our area commander, the working operative area commander, I know, and I love so much. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Uh, Chief P.K. Shaw. Our director of foreign affairs, I appreciate you. All the DPOs on ground, you are my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. Our chief imam, thank you, my daddy. You are welcome, sir. All the foundations, NGO representatives on ground, we say thank you very much. Our proprietor from all schools, proprietor and proprietors, we thank you so much. Ingomi Nidu, thank you for supporting us all the time. May God continue to bless you. Thank you. Please, let's, let's, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you again, sir, for the opportunity we have this afternoon to be together. We are grateful for this gathering, and we know it's going to be productive. At the end, your name alone will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to thank the Almighty God for giving all of us the privilege 
to be in this gathering this afternoon. I want to appreciate all our royal fathers. The peace of God will reign in your kingdoms and in your domains in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for our imams. We appreciate you, sirs. We pray you will live long and you will live well in Jesus' name. And I want to thank God for the police authority who are present in this location this afternoon. I pray that the Almighty God will bless you. The Lord will walk for you. The Lord will walk with you. And wherever you go, the presence of the Lord will accompany you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for the organizer of this program. I pray for all of you that it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I didn't prepare any sermon for this occasion. But because this is what I do as part of my work, so I believe I should be able to pass the information across to our children. I want you to know that God has plans for all of us, all of us. Your background may not be pleasant, just like mine. But trust me, God will not allow your background put you on the ground. Amen. That you don't have parents is not an excuse for you to be engaged in crimes. My own father died the year I was born, so I never knew him. The journey was rough. Please allow them listen. Allow them listen because we are talking to them. My prayer for all these children is that your tomorrow will be better and not bitter in Jesus' name. My father died the very year I was born. And uh, it wasn't an easy journey at all. I was sharing my life story with someone recently that I went to five primary schools without failing because of conditions. But I thank the Lord. The journey was rough. And I never took part in any crime to the glory of God. I mean, there was a time I couldn't pay school, school fees. But I believe it was part of the journey of life. But I thank God today, I had my first degree, I had my master's, and I have my PhD. To the glory of the Almighty God. If I had engaged in any crime, I would have been caught. And I would have probably gone to jail. Sometimes, if you cannot join them, you avoid them. Please, let us make use of this opportunity. We identified some of you and we empowered you. And uh, some we sent to school. And about four or five of them have graduated. And then we are still doing it. There is a particular secondary school for the past nine years. They have been eating free food. I've been paying. It's just to empower them and to make it easy for them. And they engaged six teachers. For the past nine years, I've been paying the salaries of the six teachers. So success is not about your degrees or the number of vehicles or houses that you have. But it's about the number of people you have been able to affect positively. So I want to encourage our daddies and our mommies to also participate fully, be involved, be engaged, so that these people will have a brighter future. They say success without successor is failure. Whether we believe it or not, uh, one day we will retire. Some of us retired many years ago, but we are not tired. We are still doing the job. And we are going to be remembered for certain things. 
I tell people, your present position is not going to be your final destination. Don't write your conclusion yet. Because we are still going further. So, I want to... The youth, are you listening to me this afternoon? You will never have a better yesterday. Your tomorrow will be better and not better. In the name of Jesus, you will be greater than us. You will be higher than us. You will be, you'll be richer than us. In the name of Jesus. You don't need to go to Germany before you jam your blessings. You don't need to go to UK before you can be okay. If you are where God wants you to be and you are doing the right thing, what other people are running after will run after you. But don't let me deceive you. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Are you there? So please, abstain from anything called crime. I'm sure the police force is also tired. Because anywhere you go, you find culprits, you find offenders. They are also tired. Please, let's, let's, let's give them rest. Are you there? Let's give them rest. Let's, they are also family people. Let, let, let them face their normal official assignments. Then they, they, they will be able to take care of their own family members too. Instead of having to pursue, to run after this or that. Uh, I, I believe I'm speaking the mind of the police authority. And I want to also use this opportunity to thank God for our IG. I thought I would meet him here today. So please, let me tell the IG that um, we appreciate him. And uh, the Lord will continue to protect and to guide him. I pray for him all the time and I know that he will succeed and he will excel. So, other people will still talk. Like I said, my only story, encourage you to let you know. He said, the downfall of a man, well, I put it, who is in Christ, can never be the end of his life. I pray for you, your tomorrow will be better. But make sure you abstain from crime. If not that I go to police stations to bait people, or to because some of the houses we built for them, uh, generators we bought for some of them. That's the only reason you find me in police station. I've never been arrested in my life. I never took part in any crime. Are you there? We go there to greet police or to have a say their functions or to advise them sometimes, but not under arrest. So I pray for you as you will say amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. His Excellency is big, is strong, and reliable. We are the Pokakov. Pokakov, Kwano. Ikapi, Kwano. When they eat Indomie, they will have more energy. Your Excellency, please. Good afternoon, Your Highnesses. Good afternoon, respected security officers here present. Good afternoon, men of the high table. Good afternoon, my dear youths. Can I please stand on the existing protocol? My name is His Excellency Dr. Goli Amechi Sadiq. I am the African coordinator of the International Human Rights Observatory on the United Nations. I am also the President of National Coalition Against Insecurity in Nigeria. This afternoon, I came to join my friend, my comrade, the powerful coordinator of the Southwest, of the Pokagon, and also a member my friend, to support the program, also encourage the youths, just with some few words, to know the implication of cultism, being a member of cultism, or being a cultist. My dear youths, your tomorrow is better than today. Will you want to go to school from a very poor family as we come from? And after your schooling, they rather bring a dead person back because of all this. So many of our youths, when you meet them on the road, 
up now. I have a living son standing with them. He said, let me do what? Make a call. And when he make a call, whether he's begin to jump from one place to another place, and violence begin to erupt. At the end of the day, one person might fall down, one person might get wounded. The parents are at home waiting for them to come back. The parents have spent so much money, suffered so much, to see that they go to school and get them good men back. But unfortunately, some of them are used. They bring them back home, bring in their cops, not their living money. So please, those two today that have the privilege of being in this program are those whom God wish. They are going to be alive. And I'm going to also share this good message to other youths and tell them that loving in God's name. Loving in God's name. To be a Godist, you don't get anything. All of them are cowards. Because when the chips are down, you see them running from one place to another place, hiding. It is only when they are in group, they make noise. But when they are alone, they fear. So please, don't think I cannot carry you. You have the good name of your family. Say no to it. I want to thank the AKP and the, the Poker Cups for bringing this wonderful program today in, in our neighbor shop, local government area. We get prepared. We get to support you. We need to come and We have our little gift we brought from Enugu to employ you people here. And by God's grace, the next one that we do will always be there. And then in the next one or two months, I assure you that the Poker Cups and even AKP will come out to East and do the same thing in a bigger way. We have all the means to give you full support. Let me thank all the security agents in Nigeria, all of the people. They are all trying. It is no longer business as usual. When they say this one is above the law. No, nobody is above the law in this country. Right now, we are saying it. What we need to do as Nigerian citizens is to thank the government and to help security agencies to succeed in their mission to make sure that our country grows better. Thank you very much for all of you. Before I go, I present this uh, little gift. My coordinator. My son was a neighbor. My God, sir, you are a friend from South East. Your comrade in the war against crime has come to meet you here to encourage you in your good work and to present to you this few copies. We did 1,200 to support you. Can we clap? Let's clap. Can we clap our hands together for our father? As you can see, the book of Cove and the Epic Cup has come to stay. It is a vision and it's coming to reality. Can we clap our hands together for these movements? These are beautiful souvenirs. From the east down to Lagos. Uh, thank you so much for your comments. And on behalf of the Pokemon Southwest, we say thank you for this wonderful materials over there for the children. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. The Pokemon Kings are excellent. If you are clapping, you clap very well. On behalf of the on behalf of our leader, Coca Cup Southwest, we are presenting this Coca Cup pin, pin, pin to you as a Coca Cup member. Thank you so much. Let's clap, let's clap, let's clap. Congratulations, His Excellency for this presentation. On behalf of the Book and Golf Southwest, we are presenting this a pin to our country as a patron of Book and Golf Southwest.
Congratulations, Daddy. Thank you, sir. Let's clap, let's clap, let's clap. And a resource lecturer in University of Lagos. If you are clapping, you clap very well. Baba Monsha Lausa. Get before. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What alaikum salam? God bless you. Uh, on behalf of a book of Southwest Baba, we send this token for you. Sorry, our award is not for sale in Nigeria, especially from Bukakov and uh, Ikapi. We don't sell our award, we don't commercialize our award. Everything in Ikapi and Bukakov is free. Congratulations, Chief Imam. God bless you for what you're doing. Dr. Haruna Mosa. Congratulations. Next to receive is from Dofel Nigeria Limited, a lady of class and taste, consistently supporting all ICAPI programs in Lagos and across the Southwest. Let's invite the delightable, charming, caring, adorable Amotola. Please, can you step forward? It's all about you. Indomie Pokakov. It's all about you. God bless you. That is the message. Thank you very much, uh, Indomie Nudu and uh, our, our, our ambassador, now Pokakov uh, Patron. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. We appreciate your organization. I will continue to partner with you. Please pass this message across to the management team. We love them, the capital love them, and now Poka Cove love them too. Thank you so much. Chief, thank you so much. Can we clap our hands together for this beautiful organization, Indomi Poka Cove? It's all about what? You! I remember that song we do sing, Mama do good do. Hey, Mama. Ganga, ganga. She nice, she carry pomo. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. My brother, my mentor, I say thank you very much for your empowerment. On behalf of Booker Cup Southwest, we adopted you today as our patron. Thank you so much. Can we clap our hands together for? Okay. Dr. Emeka, praise the Lord. I would like to recognize the presence of the chairman of the today's occasion, the chairman and president of ECAP, distinguished members of the high table, the forces present, our religious leaders, our pastors, and the, the, the traditional rulers present, all protocol duly observed. I represent Lagos Aviation and Maritime Research Academy, situated in Ijeonudu, and I encourage what ECAP is doing today. We are here to support them, and we keep supporting them for them to keep doing what they are doing. Security is everybody's business. At Lab Academy, we have security management and technology as one of our courses. And when we talk about security, it's beyond what the youth sees. The security is very wide. We have the airport security, we have the maritime security, which handles the vessels at the outside bar. We have specialization in the campus security, and also I want to encourage ECAP to still take this campaign to the various campuses in Nigeria because we have a lot of challenges, drug abuse, autism, gangsterism that has taken the part of our youth and we cannot continue like this. I want to encourage ECAP to continue 
and keep the flag high in Jesus' name. We have oil facilities and security, which is other area of specialization, which the youth can also take up on. We have canine security. We have conflict and resolution security management. We have law and enforcement security. We also have various areas of security gadgets, which the youth can take up and study. I would like to ask a simple question. Without security, can we all be here? The answer is no. So we all need security in every area of our life. Security is everybody's business. The smooth operations of uh, the activity today, the government, vis-a-vis -vis everything that's going on in the country here, is because there is security. At Lab Academy, we also handle terrorism management and various aspects. So I want to encourage the youth to take a lead. When we talk about security, we are not restricted to the Nigerian police force. We are talking about the Nigerian Navy, the Nigerian uh, the Air Force, the, the DSS, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense, the Customs, the Immigration, the EFCC, name it. All these are various areas of security which the youth can take upon. And I pray as they do it, the Lord will see you in Jesus' name. Security and patriotism work in hand in hand. Our security personnel, I would say they are the most patriotic set of people in Nigeria. Please, can we give them a round of applause? In security, we use the word "expert the core, meaning whether you are an Igbo, you are a Yoruba, you are an Hausa, whatever you see your colleagues putting on that uniform, we use the word "expert the core. So when we talk about the real Nigerians, I can tell you categorically that the security personnel are the real Nigerians. Can we give them a round of applause? Security personnel are disciplined. They are the most disciplined set of people. So if our youth can take up security as a cause, can take up security as part of their way of life, I will tell you we have more uh, uh, disciplined, I mean, disciplined people in our society. You, when you look at what is going around, you find out that there is a high level, I mean, very high level of moral decadence. Our youth, they, they, they go to the extent of, uh, you see a male opening here, painting of hair, uh, drawing jeans, tattoo, and all what have you. This is not the kind of society that we pray for. I pray by the special grace of God, as a captain of this campaign, that all this moral decadency will reduce by the special grace of God. Our security are the most moral people. When you see them, they tell you that the moral is high. More when their moral is always high in action. So if our our youth can take up security, definitely we have more people that will defend this nation. I pray by the special grace of God, by the time this campaign continues, I will take it to different zones of the country. We are going to have a youth that is free of moral dependency in Jesus' name. At this juncture, I wish to announce 20 free scholarship for the youth that will be coming up for this program. We have certificate programs. Can we clap? Let's clap. I have I've made it and we have done it in the past and we are going to continue to do it. We want to take this street out of the youth and by the special grace of God, the Lord will empower us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Can we give it up to Dr. Rebecca for this?
Congratulations, His Royal Majesty. Thank you very much. Spend 
money to also go to court. When they get to court, let's say they, 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 they remind the person in a prison custody before the termination of the case, the IPO will keep on going. They will keep on spending money to go and give evidence. Lawyers too, they, they, will be, they will get lawyers. I mean, even the criminal himself will get lawyers to defend him. The judge is there. They will, there will be money spent, sorry, voted for the appearances of the judges. Even to run the courthouses to do everything is still money. Eventually, they, they sentence the person, the criminal. The criminal now goes to prison. When he's in prison, government starts feeding him. If he's sick, government starts feeding him, even at the police station. And eventually, this person will now spend the number of years. And when he comes back, it doesn't mean that that person has changed. He may come back, still go back to criminality. So it's going to be like a recycling of criminal activities. But when we talk about preventive policing, which the IDP is, is um, achieving through Pokakov, that will come out from the beginning. We don't want you people to do this. Come out of it. For those of you who are vulnerable, the police with... Um, collaboration with good spirited organizations, NGOs, individuals who rehabilitate them. When they are given rehabilitation, they change to become better citizens. The next thing now will be for those who want to go to school, who are exceptionally brilliant, but they are fortunate to be on the, on the street. They will facilitate scholarship for them. So now tell me which one is cheaper. Which one is cheaper? Prevention is cheaper. And now, the message from the Special General Policy is we are giving bad boys two options. The option of impressive preventive policy and benefit from the rehabilitation or scholarship if you want or the other option of let these TPOs, those ones who are doing law enforcement, the anti-court groups, let them come after you. Then they arrest you. If you are found doing what you're not supposed to do, you are prosecuted, then you may go to jail. For instance, in Lagos State, the punishment for courtism, for being a member of a court group, is 21 years. Now, if you are arrested at the age of 20, 30, add that 21, you now come back. Where do you start from? Let's say you are even in the university. You are 18 or 19 or 20 or 21. You just gain admission. And the next thing you want to do, hello, children, you are not listening. Hello? Hello, children. So what I was saying is this. The law in Lagos State says that punishment for court is in is 21 years imprisonment. 21 years inside prison. That 21 years is not the food you like to eat, oh. it's the food they give you, you will eat. You will not wake up when you like. It is the time they want you to wake up. You will not wear, as I wear this beautiful yellow jersey, maybe tomorrow you will wear this like type of color. Next tomorrow you will wear Ankara or the clothes that mommy and daddy buy for you for Ilea for Christmas. But in prison, it is only one uniform. I will jolly, they said, I will jolly. You cannot wake up and say, I want to watch Ben 10. You cannot wake up and say, I want to watch uh, uh, Avatar. Or you want to watch Man You Match. You like to go, Abby? So it is what they want you to watch. That is the TV. Then another thing with prison. I, I pray none of you will enter prison, no. None of you enter prison, no. When I was a DPA in Lagos, a boy that has been into prison, all in and out, we arrested him again, and he said, begging me. He said, I don't want to go back to prison. I said, what happened? He said, we arrested him during rage, not that he committed anything. He said, I should look at his side, but this is the only side he used to sleep in prison. The prison is not a place to sleep with your back because there is no space. So everybody line up like sardine. So they only sleep on one side. So tomorrow you sleep like you, you don't have time to turn. So but at home, some of you will sleep and even we will. You will be on the bed. You will be 
on the mat. You understand? But in prison, no, no, no God forbid, none of you will go to prison. No. So now, now calculate 21 years imprisonment. Maybe you enter university, people are not deceiving you. Come and join a year. Come and join a year. Come and join Vikings. Come and join Alona. Come and join a day. And you are now arrested. They now prosecute, they now investigate. And that's okay. Judge, that's okay, it's guilty. 21 years plus the age of an undergraduate, let's say it's 20. That is 40 something years out of prison. Is that a good one? When that child comes out of prison, what can he do at 21? Can he go and write jam again? Can he go and learn work again at 40 something? So, say no to God. Say no to God. Say no to crimes. Because crime has consequences. Some of our musicians, they are in court. Fine. But they did not get there because of courtesy. They got there through the talent they have. So look in what what is your talent? What can you do better? Do it and you become successful. Don't join courtesy. Female too, they are female gods. So girls, don't join courtesy. Because when a child joins court, immediately you join the other group, they will start looking for you. And there will be called rivalry. Then who will cry when, when they kill that child that is in court? Who will cry? Student, who will cry? Your mama. Don't make your mama cry, yo. Don't make your papa cry, yo. Because of what? God, what do you get from it? Nothing. But if you face your studies, you go to a higher institution, or you go to police academy, where you get your first degree, yeah, and you become either a police officer, or you become a doctor, an engineer, you become a lawyer, you can always make money and become successful. God is in those I 
Ladies and gentlemen, please can you join your hands together for our mother? It's our royal father, the palace, and with you. Our Islamic cleric, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I've not seen any pastors, but if you are here, praise the Lord. Pastor Kalajai, okay, praise the Lord. And of course, our traditional rulers, uh, our Ipile uh, practitioners as well. And of course, the area commander, if it's here, the DPOs, all security outfits and personnel that are here. The organizers of this event, Pokako, 
and of course the media that are here and most importantly my youths i recognize all of you i greet all of you and of course the students as well how are you how are you good i rec i recognize all of you that are seated here in no particular order and of course the representatives of the Nigerian Students Association. I greet all of you. Great! Bosa, Bosa, Bosa. Thank you very much. I recognize each and every one of you. My name is Mubalaji Abubakri Ogulende. I am your Commissioner for Youth and Social Development in Lagos State. Let's clap, let's clap. It is a pleasure, it is an honor to be here today. When they came into my office last week and invited me, I said to them, I'll be there. If you are aware of what is happening today, Mr. Governor is swearing in some new judges in Lagos State, 13 of them. And today, Mr. Governor is also swearing in the new Deputy Chief of Staff of Lagos State because we lost our brother, my colleague, Boegan Shoyongo, about two weeks ago. And we are swearing in a new Deputy uh, Chief of Staff today. So I should be there. But I gave my word. I gave my commitment that I will be here. Let's clap, let's clap. And you see, the reason why I'm here is very simple. The reason why I'm here is to let you all know the importance of what is happening today. The reason why I'm here is to let you know that if I can leave my duties to come here, you are as important as me being with Mr. Governor today. You are as important because this is part of the job that I have taken. This is part of the mandate we, the APC, have taken. This is part of the mandate of Mr. Governor Steve's Plus agenda, which is social inclusion, gender equality, and the youth. And the youth, and as a, rep as a representative of the youth, I must try my best to be everywhere, but I cannot be everywhere. We have 57 local governments. So if you talk about me see, Tibale law, Muma law, even if it's for five minutes, Muma law, go check by elections, they call Amade, Amasope, Afeka, Dibo or not. No. Muma law, even if it's five minutes, and it's to let you know how important you are. I'm your commissioner. The office is not my job. This is my job. This is my job. This is my job when DSP of Poker Cove has spoken. She has given words of advice. The person that spoke before, he, before her, I missed his name, he gave 25 scholarship. The only thing something, somebody like me can do as a commissioner is to give them that support, to give our royal fathers that support, to give the police that support that we're a listening government. We are here. We cannot be everywhere, but wherever we are, we must make that landmark and we must give that support. So I want to do a test. I want to do a test. Children, are you hearing me? Yeah. Abi, you are eating. I want somebody to come and tell me three things they've learned today. Three. The first person just come and miss me. Three things. It's open. All the students. And it's over more, he comment that I thought he by Lenny. The first person just come and meet me and tell me. He comment that. And it's over more, go as well. And before that, I think someone is coming. Are you coming? Let's clap our hands together for this. Stand here, come and stand here. And it's over before that, I think. Please, help me give them a round of applause. We are giving them a round of applause because they've been brave. They have courage. 
No, my brother is too late. They've been brave. They have courage. But let them, let them tell us first. You see, a lot of people have spoken this morning. They've been talking and talking and talking. What is the point if people are not listening? What is the point if people are not listening? So please, our royal father and uh, all those on the high table, you'll be the judges to pick the, the winner of these three, please. Three things you've learned, three of us. Your name? Three My things. name is Good Luck Oyeme. Okay. okay. The three things I've learned that we should be free from courtism, then we should... Nah, 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 don't tell him. Don't tell him. Give him the microphone and leave him. Come forward. Three things you've learned. You have ten seconds. And let our parents to, uh, train us the right way. Two. And... Five, four, three, two, one. No problem. Please give him a round of applause. Stand here. Stand here. Your name, three things you've learned. My name is Okeleke Prezo. I want to say the three things I've learned. One, you should not join bad gangs. Two, you should not join cultism. Three, you should not join bad friends that will lead you to see, lie, take what does not belong to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're about to work. Thank you. Hey judges. Good afternoon. Hey judges. Who do we give first, second, and third, please? Uh, coordinate it. Okay. As you can see, the honorable has given me the mandate. Let me go to our daddy and mommy. Mommy, say something. Ladies first. Ma? The one at the middle, number, sorry? Okay, number three, the one on Jean. Okay, mommy and daddy saying, the first and the second are saying the same thing. The second and third. The middle girl. The middle girl. Okay, okay let me give the mic to mommy. Mommy say something. First one and last one. No. All right, the first and the last one. Let me go to our chief. The last one, that will come. Yes, she's the best. She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. Okay, let me go to a mommy. The last girl that spoke came first. Thank you. Honorable, should we have just one more daddy? One more daddy, yeah. Okay, let me give the mic to my daddy, Olai Kasha. Okay, this the second to the last and the last one uh, almost the same thing, but the last one summarized everything. So I, teach you the last. I think over to you, my honorable sir. So is it her? Is it her? Yes? Is it her? Huh? Okay. Please help me give them a round of applause. Please. Please, give me this one, please. Give me this one. Hello? Oh, sorry. My brother, come. He's the only boy that came out. They always say it's a woman's world. But he came out. Abby? How are you? So, the reason why I started, I'll give him a little gift. I'll give him a little gift. I will clap my hands together for the honorable congratulations to you. I'll give him a little gift. I'm coming to all of you. The reason why I did that, like I said, I wear your team while watching sorrow. They've been talking and talking and talking. Some of us are not paying attention. Some of us are paying attention, but you know, we don't have the courage to move forward. And that is one of the problems of the youths. Ah, King Soros, okay. You know somebody taking drugs, you will not sorrow us, okay? You know somebody that needs help, you will not sorrow us, okay? You know somebody that is having issues, you will not talk. We need to encourage ourselves to talk. If we don't talk, your problem cannot be solved. 
If you don't talk, Poka Cove cannot help you. If you don't talk, the police cannot help you. If you don't talk, the government cannot help you. If you don't talk, the community cannot help you. So the simple reason I did this is to encourage us to speak up. To speak up. You see, after we've said everything here, if you go back and you cannot speak up, we have wasted our time. We have wasted our time. So I'm going to say a couple of things, but because, so she's the winner, she's the winner, I'll give you a gift as well. Let's clap, let's clap. Uh, Joseph. I'll give you this as well. This Wi-Fi. Let's clap our hands together for Honorable Mobalaji Abubakar. Well done. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. I'll give you that Wi-Fi to help you with your studies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is practical. Can we clap our hands together for Honorable Mobology? I'm giving you the Wi-Fi. You know, we need to encourage our students. The world is a global village, right? Uh, and everything is about the internet. You know, so I'm giving you that to help you do your research, to do your studies. It's not just for you, it's you, but of course share it with your students and uh, your colleagues as well to help them, you know, do research. That's that's what it's about. Okay? Well done. Congratulations. And my sister, Sorosuke Queen. Speak up. Speak up. You are from this community. That's fantastic. By the end of my discussion, you will be the representative of this community on something. Wow, wow, wow. Right? You will be the representative on this community on something. I will explain it. But the idea, the idea is to be able for me to try and give the boys an opportunity. That is it. That is the idea. I'm not sure about 1,000, about 2,000, about 3,000. I mean, I'm not sure about you. That one is normal. But I will try to give the boys an opportunity to take them off the streets. I will explain it, but you'll be the representative. Wow. This is an honor. Congratulations. Wow. Who is, uh, and I'll give you this to help you with that. Yes, sir. Congratulations! As you can see, our Commissioner for Youth and Social Development is talk and do. DJ, 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 break it down, break it down. Thank you. Okay. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. You see, hey, James, or all. Yes, then we move forward. Right? So, we've all learnt a lot today about drug abuse, about cultism. Abi, and when we're talking about drug, he'll answer uh, Colos. Abi, Colos. Uh, Bana. Uh, loud ice Igbo Colorado Para eh? Patek eh, Milo Arizona Banku Ati be 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 lo Ati be 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 lo But you see Sometimes Tabafa, I'm walking in. Tabama, I'm walking in. Yes, I'm our nice. There's a lot of problem in Nigeria. There's a lot of problem in Lagos State. There's a lot of problem in our community. A lot of problem. But you see, sometimes our destiny is in our hands. Ah, the man's up with a job, a job, a job, a job. What are we doing? Tabafa, I'm walking in. When we take some of these things, it's temporary. You'll be high. But you must what goes up must come down. No ma'am. What goes up must come down. 
And you see, no matter how good we are, this thing affects your health. If it does not affect it now, it will affect you in the future. Our digwa tati file, tape ma tan omo, tati di bon again, abi tati di imam, abi tati sum kosi ni amasum olon at some point. Something happens, tama fi sum olon, tapa ati fi go wokini yele, awa realize pe, oti affect kidney, oti affect liver, oti affect uh, something. It's never too late to stop. It's not easy. I know. It's not easy. It's not easy. But a lot of us will say Kilefeka Shay could say employment. We are frustrated. We have graduated school. We don't know what to do. Sometimes we sit on the road. That is the reason why we do some of these things. Yes. But we must talk to one another. We must encourage one another. Taba tell the fear won't kill me. Only be told my day. So, all I'm trying to say is, let us say no to drugs. Let us say no to drugs. It does not help you. It kills you. It destroys you. Let us say no to cultism. It kills you. It destroys you. Most. Most people that take drugs and are in cultism, there's always a problem. There's always a problem. Oh no, if you have a problem here. So please, I'm hoping, I'm begging, I'm praying, I'm requesting, I'm asking, I'm pleading. Like I said, it is not easy. But let us try and say no to these drugs and cultism. And on a final note, what I was trying to say before, my sister that won the, the phone, please, I need you to pay attention. I need you to pay attention to what I'm about to say. Sorry. You see, a lot of times, no, I'm to pay attention. A lot of times, a lot of us do not even know what is happening in Alausa. A lot of times, a lot of us don't even know the opportunity the government has for us. Anymore. Because like a one base, you are minding your business. But there are so many things we are doing. There are so many things I am doing in my ministry. For example, as a youth in Lagos State, I want to know who you are. So we set up a database. Eh? How many of you know there's database? How many of you know there's database in Lagos State? Nobody. Because you don't have access to information. Because you are not looking for information in the right places. So my sister, part of your job with that mobile phone is to access the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, where I am the commissioner where we put information of what is happening in Lagos State, where we put information about the opportunities for the youth in Lagos State, where we put information about access to training. We have two types of youth. We have the formal, we have the informal. The formal are those that have gone to school and they have graduated. The informal, some of them have not completed school, some of them want to complete school. Some of them are not even interested. We say wounded now. We say everybody go my law school. We say wounded. But we want to leave no one behind. There's a new initiative that we are starting very soon by next month. It's for youth. From the one that go at primary six, Lotukuro, this is the end of the JPHC. Are you paying attention? From the one that has stopped in primary six or did not even finish primary school, up onto the one that has PhD, but you are interested in developing yourself. A lot of jobs, long for our foreigners, you go to London, you make a phone call, India, Lomati Bay phone, India. We can speak English now, can we not speak English? Uh, so why are we not picking the phone in Lagos? Why are we not picking the phone in Nigeria? It's because we don't have access to those opportunities. But under the leadership of Dr. Babaji Leolu Shola Somolu that has given me this mandate and the ability to explore opportunities for the youth in Lagos State. We cannot touch every youth, but we can touch some youth. 
There's an initiative that we are starting very soon. You know that you are interested in doing it. The world is global, it's now digital. Everything is about digital. I'm a youth, move away, but move back beyond you. There's an opportunity for you. I'm a youth, I have studied up to artificial intelligence. There's an opportunity for you. All we ask you to do is to register for the program, go through the training. What I say, small test, just pass. What I say, small test, just pass. There are different levels, though. There are different levels from zero to hundred. If it's level five that you know, Kosiwala, just get that five. If it's level 20 that you know, get that level 20. If it's 100 percent that you know, get the 100 percent. There is something for everybody on each level. There is something for everybody on each level. We have not completed what is work in progress, but it's one of the things I have brought to you, which is why I have given you that phone. Let them come to you. Let them write their names, their phone number, their email. You understand what I'm saying? You can store it on your phone. I'll give you the number to somebody that you'll be talking to in Alausa. So that Tabama Bere program here is you they will call. Not that they will call everybody. It's you they will call, you will communicate to them. It's about giving ourselves the opportunities. It's about giving ourselves the opportunities. And I hope that when we start, a lot of us will take advantage of it. And I hope that when we start, you will encourage yourselves. Like I said, there's something for zero level. There's something to 100 level. Just get a grade. Great to back by They have given the company a mandate to bring one million negotiations. That is the mandate they have. And they came to me. Commissioner, I'm not So as I'm moving along, I'm spreading the information and I'm letting yourselves know. That is one of the things I can bring to you. Let's clap, let's clap. So my brothers, my sisters, I hope and I pray that you've heard some of the things that I have said. I hope and I pray that you continue to listen to our elders. I hope and I pray that the Almighty God, in His infinite message, will continue to guide us, Amen. will continue to protect us, Amen. and will continue to lead us aright. Amen. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Can we clap our hands together for one another? Association uh, is made a event for that is what we call the uh, community uh, policy. It's not all the time that we go out to arrest, to rage, but we have opportunity to lecture our youth, to tell them why they should not go into crime. I thank the organizer of this uh, event, but it's a very good uh, uh, idea to discourage our youth. When we look at our society today, what is causing the trouble is that most of our youth are not well educated. They don't really know what the repercussion of what they are doing. All of us have gone through this kind of uh, uh, stages when we are in school. A friend of yours will just introduce you to what you don't know. And you, by the time you go into it, to come out for it, very difficult. But now, like the commissioner has said, say something. So it's okay. When you are introduced, because now you have to get, I'm talking, I'm not referring to our youth. You take your parent as your friend. If somebody introduced anything new to you, tell your mother, tell your father, don't hide anything from them. 
they are the ones to lecture you, to tell you what is good and what is bad. And our credit, you when know, we go, if you open the uh, social media today, most of our credit have abandoned their primary role. All what they are telling our youth is how to get wet. We are looking at the goal, but we are not looking at the means. <laughs> Lecture our youth the means to get the goal. It's not that maybe you go to, through any means to achieve a goal. Let them know the, the, the moral way in getting wet. So let us let them know the repercussion. It is a, it is not a matter of, I don't, I don't want to talk too much because of the whether it's not friendly. But uh, all, I, all I say, I really appreciate the organizer and this kind of things, let us continue doing it so that our youth will definitely uh, gain. Thank you very much, I appreciate you.